Welcome back to the KDV TV of your YouTube channel. This is your boy Kyle, and well, I, I'm washing my van right now. Um, I don't really start my videos like this, but for some reason, or you like to see me doing stuff when I'm not off-roading, like maintaining Tony van and fixing parts and going to shop by Salim and all the drama. So I'll tell you this: I think I broke an axle, so I just gotta make a video about it. And you have cameraman. Adam behind you, flip the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so we gonna take a trip down by Salim. I, I wash in the van before I go by Salim because Salim is customer about dirt dropping in his shop, so I kinda be in nice. So you come to drop dirt by Alan Katie, clean yard. <laughs> <laughs> If you want nice and thick foam, just go by Intercam. <laughs> All the mud does fall right off, trust me. Trust me. This is how I just do the ghetto wash. No bucket and soap because I'm lazy. So we just do the Come on, Ragger Petal, come on, get close up, come on, get close up. Get close to that, that soap. Yeah, look how nice that is. You know, I don't really care about my paint that much, so I just, just wash it however I want to wash it. I just, just no, spe no specific way I use it now. A normal cut just to wash it. I mean, the paint is really good for what it is because I, I kind of beat this vanity bush multiple times. Um, went through multiple axles. Went through multiple axles. Too bad this video is about axles, so. Explain to them how the axle gets in this position. Okay, so. Why you stick to get this position? Let me, let me explain why I think my axle broken. I was. <laughs> Okay, so I was slacking off a little bit and I was driving with my boot rubber. It, it burst. It had no grease in it. And I was driving like that for a while. And I decided to go off-roading in Wallerfield. And that kind of mud is like gravel. So I think gravel got inside of the boot rubber and now the axle making noise when I'm four-wheel drive. So the best thing to do is to probably change the axle. Nine times out of ten, you had to change the axle when it starts making noise, but we go and see if we could actually save the axle by just servicing it. So we'll see. Ah, uh, part of the axle. With the tripod? Yeah, so it's a tripod, it's really go bad. Well, the tripod wouldn't go bad, is the CV so joint. So it doesn't have to change the axle, you just have to change your CV joint. Right, but the CV, yeah, but you might as well just buy a used axle for like $1,500. Half a time your CV joint will be good. Because those axles will be boosted. So you think the CV gonna be good? You just had to check it for cracks. It is. I don't think it cracked. It, it just, had to crack. Enough. It just have dirt inside it. That's Anytime I mash up axles because I run it without a boot rubber for two years. Uh, My van is also now named the White Pony because everybody start calling that and it kind of catchy. Show them your van. Don't walk around on your van. <laughs> My van still dirty from war wheels. So we still have my race number. Adam broke Adam broke this. The suspension is still intact. Have a slight end there. So
so basically this bomber was rolled over and we still and I still mount it back up and put it back on because why not no suspension bars or broken or anything everything's still muddy from war wheels so and I did not put on back my rear bumper yet I didn't even wash the van yet to study my yellow door visors I'll buy new ones but yeah I was now saying how my bumper get rolled over and I just put it back on. <laughs> <laughs> That's how durable our Hilux is. You could, you could it literally up. get rolled over I'll by put, the van. I'll put a clip of how he, the bumper swing off and he end up driving over the bumper. It was real funny. And everything still lined up back like normal. Line up back. You have a real south accent where it line up back. <clears throat> It lines up properly <laughs> into Toyota's specifications. So, with the power of editing, we make it by selling, but there's something I wanted to show you on the channel. I don't think I show the YouTube channel that my van have this feature now, but I could, I could two-step the van now. <laughs> A little bit of black smoke. <laughs> so here we have our Adam building our engine. So tell me what's going on here. By piston three, by piston three, by piston two. So how it had two piston trees? Because it have a number three and it's number three. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing, sir? No. So why are you doing it? We do nothing. Matter of fact, we do inside here without no super 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 <laughs> How are you doing there? Are you enough to jack up the van? No, I'll jack up. I need jack in spot. You find out? Hopefully, we can find out if the van will fall off. Find out one can I go in upside with this way. Ah boy, the Dobinson suspension. Right, boy, better you scrap all the boat axles, yes? <laughs> 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 it has more than a shield, and he don't want to take out the shield. Because you're allergic to mud. He's allergic to mud. He don't want to drain my death oil. Who's that? 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 Bring a little muddy detail here. But on it, persistently, want to go in the mud and blow on the wash. Are you right? 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 On it, take over the own shield now. And on it, take a little mud forward. Wait, look at the stent! Apply and install by step one back performance shop. Dog, bring back. We brought these five FJ40. However, because of time constraints, we're going to just give the customer and he'll get it installed by a shop up in the north. So, yeah. Huh? Watch at him, watch at him. <laughs> Look, Mr. He David. Look, Mr. David here. With a broom. Like this. Move this skate plate. Hold this skate plate. Don't let Savi. Don't let Savi. Don't let Savi. Don't ask Salim, let Kyle call on you. No, 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 no. Kyle not call you. Who are we on YouTube? Me and. 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 Me and.
So Kyle now recently had body mount um, tailgate support, right? So he removed that and he installed mud. <laughs> here we have Mr. David Rig right here doing some maintenance. Mr. David? Yes sir. How are you doing? I yeah. What 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 will you come to seven five performance to shop to do? Service. Service? Uh, around, around 30,000. How often do you do service? Every 5,000. Every 5,000, why? Well, I just want to be conservative. I don't want to push it to, to 10,000, you know? And why you should service every 5,000 kilometers? Um, because of our poor diesel quality in Trinidad, there are a lot of high carbon deposits in the oil. Even though you use our synthetic oil, right. the carbon deposits build up over a period of time right. and in my personal opinion it's cheaper to change your oil every 5,000 than try to push it at 10,000 and have to suffer a rebuild in the longer run so again my oil change one time yeah you are <laughs> but you had to pay <laughs> oil is cheap now <laughs> Uh, that's not make sense, get you next. Is that more than that? Cheese! That is dirty mud, oil, and water. <laughs> this is why people use diff breeders. I have diff breeders. Then your diff breeders not working? Probably. Smooth operator. Look, you know, I kind of hate cutter pins. Like, they're so dirty sometimes. Because. Because you just keep reusing back the old one, you have to buy no, new I ones. No, I don't. I get new cutter pins all the time. So I even always put new cutter pins. But it's like. They're like. They're like real dirty sometimes. Oh God. There we go. Pull it back. Pull it back. Oh, right. I think you go in. <laughs> I help you though. Tap it out there. Yeah. Alright, alright, it's covered out, it's covered out, it's covered out. Huh. We have axles. That's not sounding too healthy though, I can tell you that. Alright, lower ball drink. Come fast, 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 fast. Dog, I done winner. How would you win if I help you with half of the things? <laughs> And I, my times, I show my times still faster. You still had a pull, yeah, so. You, you're taking her out. Because you're giving me the rusty side. I give you the rusty side? Look at this bowl. Look at this okra bowl. They tread good, they tread good, they tread good. Busted knuckles. How are you feeling? Yes, well, the axle just had a pull out now, so you win. Take your win, right? You take your win. All right, so we didn't record, but we took apart the axle that was making noise and we found the problem. So I'll record the second one. Yeah, we'll, we'll record the process of the second one because that one not as important. I was more worried about the right side one, which was making the clicking noise in four-wheel drive. So we All took right. we took apart the axle. We got the tripods out, clean them up real nice and clean right here. This is not the problem, but tell us the problem. So this man axles dry, and the grease have mud in it. Yeah, literal oh. stones. Yeah, and mud. so that is what was causing the clicking noise. So this well, it's feeling rough, but mm -hmm. I think this axle could actually be saved. What do you think? You had to watch here. Is that a wipe here? And check here for cracks. It had no cracks. It wouldn't have no any cracks. It'll just have 
little statins are marked though. It will have like little um. No, once it little, crocs, that means it's bad. But it don't have any crocs. Yeah. So, the problem is that it will have a little bit of sand and gravel inside it, which will cause the. Which is not supposed to have. It's not. It's not supposed to have sand or gravel in it. That's what will cause the the rough noise and the clicking noise when you're in four wheel drive. So. That's this. Will, that will also cause it to completely obliterate, obliterate, <laughs> obliterate. <laughs> Comment down, me, comment down below, obliterate. Obliterate. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, wait, it, wait, be quiet. Let them listen. <laughs> Keep going. I don't know if the camera will pick up that. Yeah. Keep going. Go in. That's only sound. Yeah, there's all the sand and gravel that inside of the CV. So, it's just to clean it out. We have some gas. Clean all the gas. Well, I like it, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. We'll probably do that off camera. And we'll do the second. We'll do a full. We'll do that now. Yeah. And then we'll clean the boat out. We'll do a thing of the. We'll do a whole segment on the other axle, so which is not that important. It's just to clean it out. Clean on the grease. Put new grease. And put the new boat rubbers because all the boat rubbers burst, as I said. Bye. Right, cool. If you watch on your axle, you'd see it have some tears and it actually dry rot. Um causing the grease to pelt out. Uh, this one burst too, you can see some grease on it. So it might not be as bad as that one. Yeah, this this one wouldn't be as bad as that one actually, because the left the, the right side one, the boot rubber is actually worse, which is there. I don't I know they feel like picking it up, but you have to start from the tripod side to get to the C V side. Because that's just how the axle made. So, Adam is going to demonstrate how to take apart a Toyota Hilux axle. I'm not a trained professional. He's not a trained professional. Yeah, yeah Alright, so first you have to take all the two straps. Yeah, yeah. we have the idea. No worries. Yeah, <laughs> you know, this one is the original. This is original Toyota clamps. This is stuff. original Toyota clamps. Alright, cool. Boom. It have grease in it, so it have more in it. Yeah. Right, so that's your tripod cup. You would call call that? I don't know what you call that, but this is your tripod right here. Is like some it's tree bearings. When you when your suspension articulate, the cup could move in and out of the. Right. The tripod can move in and out of the cup like that. Any suspension while spinning. While spinning, so that's why it have the ball bearings, and that's why it made like this. The CV doesn't move in and out. It is move like this. Yeah, demonstrate how it does move there. You can move like this. It can move like that. It can move. Yeah. So when when it's spinning, it, it doesn't have any interruptions while it's spinning. Like that. Boom. Right. So on the tripod you have a little C clip here to take out. That's so the tripod itself wouldn't go. Can you tap all the tap all the little bearings? There's actually a needle bearing. Okay. A fan another fancy name for a bearing. But okay. Adam an upcoming mechanic boy. The busted knuckle. Top of the next part of the tripod now. Go ahead. So easy to go on top the next side. There we go. It came out easy because it grease good. That's why. Right. Alright, so he just taking all the boot rubber clamps here to get to the CV itself. Slide it up, slide it up, slide it up. Hey! Ooh, 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 this acts so good for sure. <laughs> Alright, so this is how the inside of our CV looks. As you can see, this is how it operates when the vehicle is in motion. There's like balls, ball bearings, balls. You have balls inside it. So the yeah, axle can make that movement on the road when you're driving. Good axle, it's not bad axles. Bad axles when make that movement. <laughs> yeah. the opposite. It's basically to do the opposite. Um, 
put all new grease we had to press the grease into the balls and put on the new boot rubbers clamp it up and put it back in the vehicle so i don't think i don't think we had to record much it's basically the reverse i was taking it apart all right so this is the new grease looks like a big um, mountain of poop this is a new boot rubber this is a outer boot rubber just to slide it on now some random cheap rubber Careful, just to slide that on. Watch, watch this side. Look, look. You have grease coming out, mm -hmm. and that's basically it. Really, it's just to clamp it down now, and yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is the tool you gotta use to tighten the clamps on the new boot rubber. Douglas, take it away. <laughs> How tight is tight? Until the bridge. There you go. Alright, so now that the velocity joint side is done, she rolling around smoothly as you can see right here. Now it's time to do the tripod side. So, first, don't make the mistake and put your tripod on first, please, because that's what we just did actually. Um, and that's when you learn with our velocity joint. Yeah, so we're gonna put back put on the boot rubber first. Stretch on a little bit. Slip she on. Boom. And then you have to get your tripod. This is your this is your tripod. Part of it. Part of your tripod. Okay. Boom. You get your you just hit it a little tap tap. To line it up. And then the brass. Will help it go on. Boom, slide that on. Then mm -hmm. Alright, so this is your your cup that's supposed to slide onto the tripod. We're gonna fill this up with grease and then put it on. And my people might find that satisfying. Is our next one it? That's all? That's enough. It's full. And then you slide that on, boom, just like that. And then you put on your boot rubber, clamp it up, and then everything goes back onto the vehicle and no noise should be made, hopefully. So unfortunately, my old drain plug got a little beaten, up, beaten to it. So we put in a new drain plug for the diff, hopefully, we you don't, don't even know how it get like this. Yeah, I don't even. I can't remember beating my drain plug to open it, to be honest. So, all the axles in. Show them how you're putting the axles for yourself. Well, I mean, this axle side, we're rubber looking, gonna. It go walk, it go walk, it go walk. I show them the good side. Yeah, fully rebuilt axles. When I need drain plug. Look how shiny you need drain plug is. It's shiny, it's shiny, I don't need whole diff. <laughs> yeah, the pony flash to see it. New drain plug, no matter it, man. Like, that should be good, huh? No, a little more than that. Pull, pull, pull hard. Yeah, that, that'll be good. Yeah, that'll be good. We fully rebuild the axles now, by. Three months time, I'm already build that back again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below what you think of this video, and we have full new diff oil. Like, subscribe, you might see my van in this video too. Yeah, it have a walk around of the white pony. Anyway, the wheels magically on, axles mm. in, Nicholas full in my oil.
and that's basically it.